I get to have Parkinson's. April is Parkinson's Awareness Month, and so this is my obligatory video celebrating Parkinson's disease. I know all of this doesn't sound right, but bear with me. A few years ago, I watched this woman speak, her adult daughter sitting in front of me, and she talked about how her daughter finally was pregnant after many years of trying. And at about the seven month mark, the doctors came to her and said, the pregnancy is not viable. The entire family devastated, went to their knees and shouted to the Lord in prayer. She went full term, had the baby and the baby was born alive. The doctor said, don't be too hopeful. The baby won't survive more than a few minutes and the baby survived a day. And the doctors again urged them not to be too excited because the baby would not survive overnight and the baby survived a week. And again, the doctors urged the family to be prepared because the baby would not survive a month and they celebrated his first birthday. Again, they were not to be hopeful in the, the length of this child's life. The grandmother said, we got to have him for 10 years. They had buried him within the last year. Now this devastated me, the thought of losing my child. But I was stricken by this woman's conviction that she was dealt a terrible hand, but they got to have this child for 10 years. He was a miracle beyond miracles. This is what I've done since I've been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. I became independent. I wrote for the Huff Post. I did my first mud run by myself. I became an American Ninja Warrior. I did more mud runs, but with other people. I ran a marathon. I gave up planning my life and started praying to God. I met my soulmate. Funny how that happens when you turn your life over to Christ. I moved across the country to be with my soulmate, who also has Parkinson's. I married, says Shaky Parky. We create a lot of friction. I gave my daughter a healthy family. I wrote a children's book. I became an artist. So yeah. I get to have Parkinson's disease.